Oh, hey there. Today, you're going to learn some awesome drum fills. What's up everyone, CJ here. I hope you're all doing well. This is gonna be kind of a fast paced lesson because in this video, I'm gonna teach you three awesome drum fills that are really fun to play. Quick disclaimer, these drum fills might not be suitable for every genre, so don't go thinking you can, you know, bring these drum fills to your band or the artist you're playing with and thinking it's gonna work out with them. But hey, sometimes it's just nice to practice some fun drum fills. One thing I wanna add before we start is that you don't have to play these drum fills just like I do in this video. You probably have a different setup than I do, so try to orchestrate these drum fills to whatever suits you on your drums. Alright, with that out of the way, let's start with fill number one. This first fill is actually not that difficult, but it sounds awesome at a fast tempo. It's a half measure fill played as 30 second notes. The sticking for this fill is right, left, right, left, kick, kick, right, left, right, left, kick, kick, right, left, right, left, one. Let me break it down for you on the snare drum first. Now I'll orchestrate it around the drums. Pretty cool, right? I call this next fill the 5 plus 1 fill. 6. 5 plus 1 equals 6, so this of course is played as sextuplets, or 16th note triplets. But I like to think of it as a group of 5 with an extra hit on the bass drum. The fun thing about this fill is to play variations of accents of the first three single strokes, the right, left, right. I usually go between playing accents on all three hits or just the right hand hits. As before, let me break it down to you on the snare drum first and then I'll orchestrate it around the drums.
All right, fill number three. This fill is also played as six tuplets, and it starts with a six stroke roll, right, left, left, right, right, left, followed by 16th note triplets, right, left, right, left, right, left, followed by kick, right, left, kick, kick, right, and then it ends with a quarter note hit with a left hand on the snare drum on beat four. Let me show you the way I play it. Alright guys, that's the end of this lesson. I hope you got some inspiration to create your own drum fills from this. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you're not a subscriber yet, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to stay updated whenever I release a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone, and good luck with your drumming. I'll see you soon.